Hi everyone, Bronte here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another clean with me. Today we are going to be cleaning and decluttering. I am going to be cleaning the downstairs part of my house. I'm going to be decluttering the closet under our stairs and cleaning that as well. Eventually we are going to turn that into a walk-in pantry, but for now I'm just going to organize it because it is a hot mess. It is such a disaster. If you are new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hang out and join the family for all things lifestyle, cleaning motivation, and motherhood. As you can see, the closet is a bit of a pigsty. But today we are going to start in the kitchen because I made a mess of the kitchen thinking that I was Martha Stewart cooking and baking and then I realized that I was the one who had to clean up. So I'm listening to music because I needed some serious motivation. So I'm blasting music and that is why I have my headphones on. But let's get to cleaning. I'm gonna start by cleaning all the dishes in the sink, loading the dishwasher and then washing the dishes by hand. done washing the dishes I'm going to dry them and put them away to clear out this drying rack and as I was putting the dishes away particularly my spatula the drawer fell down and I was so confused about what was going on but the drawer totally fell down something in the back just came loose but this poor kitchen needs some seriously love and it needs a serious makeover so hopefully we can get that going soon but done with my rant about my kitchen I am going to clean my sink and I'm going to be using Clorox bleach cleanup spray and an old sponge I like to use this sponge when I'm using bleach products and I like to use bleach spray to clean the sink and it gets the sink super nice and shiny super nice and white because my sink gets dingy really fast and obviously since it is bleach it kills the germs really well Using the Clorox Sentiva spray in a Tuscan lavender and jasmine scent to wipe down my counters. I'm also going to use this spray to wipe down the stove, to wipe down my island, to wipe down the dining table. Pretty much every surface in the kitchen is going to be cleaned with this Sentiva spray. It is a disinfectant spray and it smells super amazing, so it leaves your kitchen or whatever you're cleaning with a nice fresh scent. going to be removing the knobs from the stove and washing these just with a dish detergent and a dishcloth and getting those all nice and clean they get really gunky if you don't wash them often and sometimes I just kind of forget about it and then I'll look underneath when I turn it and I'm like ooh, that's pretty gross so I'm gonna wash these because a couple of them were looking pretty scary and then I'm just gonna put these back on the stove and continue wiping down the oven part of my range you got a smile that makes the sun rise. You make it shine But I can see that you don't realize And that's what made me fall in love I'm going 
going to clear off the island and then I'm going to spray that down with the Sentiva spray, clean that all up. Please excuse my dancing. I was rocking out to some 2000s pop from back in the day, okay? And then I'm also going to clear off the dining table and then clean that up as well. One for the resting, for the adjusting, one for the tired hands, one for the let downs, all thanks to the soul time. We are now going to move on to straightening up the living room. It's a bit of a mess, not horrible. We're not hoarder status yet, but it is pretty messy. So I'm gonna straighten everything up. I'm just gonna pick up all the toys that are on the floor, put my kids' shoes back where they belong, and then I'm going to straighten up the couch as well. I have a bunch of laundry stacked in a pile, ready to get folded that I'm gonna take care of. And then I'm going to take care of more laundry, throw stuff in the dryer, and then fold a bunch of clothes that had been sitting in the dryer all day. Because mom life, it wouldn't be a true cleaning video of mine if I wasn't doing my laundry because I'm literally doing laundry all the time, pretty much all day long. I swear I can never get on top of the laundry. If you have an effective laundry routine that you stick to, please let me know what it is down below so I can conquer this laundry and not be doing it all of the time. I mean, maybe there is no effective laundry routine because I swear, it just never ends. My kids only wear one outfit a day and one set of pajamas a day. Where does all this stuff come from? You know the time has come for breaking some new ground. I'll let you try. So we will stare at views we can't believe we found. We'll feel alive. You're still And now for the fun stuff. We are going to tackle this closet. It is just a cluster of mess. I don't even know what's in here. We threw our last couple of boxes from moving in here. Well, I did. My husband didn't because he's a very organized person and clearly I am not. So I'm just going to clean everything up. I'm going to move stuff out of the closet and bring it out to the living room so that I have more space to go through everything. And then we're just going to go from there. Take everything out of the closet and then organize from there because I feel like that's going to be the easiest way to go about this. But once I get everything out of the closet, I'm going to vacuum so that the floor is nice and clean and I'm not tracking in any crumbs or dirt from inside the closet out to the living room. And this is the lovely mess that I created when I was bringing everything out of the closet out into the living area. So we are going to go through this and we are going to start organizing. There's purses in here because they were in one of those boxes. There's pantry stuff. There's random papers that I need to go through. There's art stuff. There's just like all sorts of things in one of these boxes. It's old home decor. Like pretty much any kind of thing that you could imagine was in that closet just thrown on the floor as like a dumping ground so let's tackle this let's organize it and let's get some rid of some of this stuff when I'm with you son's art stuff in this basket that I picked up from the Dollar Tree a long time ago. I used this for a pantry organization video and for our old pantry in our other house. So I had this on hand. I shop my home whenever I can so I don't have to go out and buy new stuff. 
and I'm putting all of his art stuff in a basket so that I can take it up to his room so it's not downstairs in what is going to be our future pantry anymore. And then I'm just going to organize any pantry items that I have and put them in baskets and then get rid of anything that is expired or old that we are not going to use anymore. I'm going crazy for you, baby. Don't know how you make it me feel this way. What can I say? That's what I like about you. Also going to take stuff from what we are using as our pantry which is this cabinet over here and I'm gonna organize this stuff a little bit better put some of the snacks in a basket to put in our closet pantry our kitchen was not built with a walk-in pantry or really anything to be used as a pantry other than these two little cabinets right here which is kind of awful so that is why we are going to convert the closet under the stairs into a walk-in pantry by putting built-in shelves in there because not having a pantry with little kids is just not really working out too well for us. So I'm just gonna organize our snacks in these little baskets and then I'm going to put those back in what is going to be our new pantry and just try to get everything in there as organized as possible before I move on to cleaning up any part of the house that needs to be cleaned still. So we're gonna pick up stuff that was on the floor left from when I was going through stuff put stuff away, throw stuff away, and then I'm going to move on to finishing and cleaning up the living room. And first things first, we are going to vacuum up the couch because it's absolutely disgusting. There are probably enough snacks in the cushions to feed a small family. I'm in love with all your lights and your colors. I'm in love with all your nights. But you've kept me far away from my focus And to my heart I cannot lie Stars made of stars Up above made to fall Stars counting stars And they guide me through the dark Left in despair, air is getting heavier, but I do my best to breathe. Dreams of green and filled with. And now I'm going to vacuum up the floors in the living room, the dining area, and the kitchen as well. And I'm going to be using my Shark Rocket Upright Vacuum. That is my favorite vacuum of all time. It is such a good vacuum for such an affordable price. So if you are in the market for a new vacuum, check it out. I will have it linked below if you are interested. Obviously, if you're not, you don't have to check it out, but I am obsessed with this vacuum. I got it on Black Friday last year for almost $100 off, so be on the lookout if you are looking for a new vacuum. Check out the Black Friday sales. They're coming up. Cyber Monday's coming up. Check those out. I got a new friend in my life that is perfect. I hope that you guys have found this video motivating to get some stuff tackled on your to-do list, get some cleaning done that you may have been putting off, whatever it is, I hope that you get motivated. Maybe you need to declutter a closet as well, but I hope that this motivated you. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for being here. If you are new, do not forget to subscribe before going and make sure to give this a big huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a super amazing day and I will catch you in the next video. Oh, oh, oh.